Hello guys, in this video I want to discuss an example whether it's worth to separate users table into two tables if you have a lot of fields. And this will be based on an open source project that I've noticed online called Lyrx. It's an e-exam platform so you can check out the full code on GitHub, I will link that in the description below. But I want to stop on specifically one thing, so users table looks like this, but there's also a separate table called user infos. The author decided to separate some fields like phone, address, status, and some more with foreign ID to user ID. And then in the user model, we have a relationship info has one, which is okay. So the logic is to avoid like 30 fields in the users table, we separate some of them into a separate database table. Cool. But then I noticed a few things in the code that made me question that decision. So in the controller of user, I see this controller method. I won't dive deeper into what class exam is, but we're filtering the records by period, month, and group taken from here. So logged in user, info of that user, and then period ID, which means that actually two queries to the database will happen. First, get info of that user, and then the actual query here. And that will happen for each of the query that will use auth user info. So then the question becomes how many times it is used in the project user info. Let's try to find in files, user info, open in the new window, 13 results. So not that many. In the helpers, which is probably fine in that controller that I found, but a few things actually stand out. So in the layout app, we have auth user info photo which means on every load of every page, it tries to load the photo, query to the database, in addition to querying the user. Same for the layout of teacher I see and user layout. And then also there is a middleware called check user status, which checks the type of the user and the info status. And if we check where that middleware is actually used, we open app HTTP kernel and let's see the actual name of that middleware route middleware, check user status is check user status. And let's try to find that in the routes web. So find that middleware. It is loaded on the full route group. So all the routes here for the manager, try to find it again. It is repeated for teacher and also maybe for someone else. No, not for admin. Yep, two occasions, but quite a big route group. No, actually three occasions. So user, group, route group, then manager, and then teacher from what I remember. Yeah, this one. Which means the user info table is loaded on pretty much every page, which is, in my opinion, not efficient. So am I saying it is bad to separate the users into user info table with some fields? No, not necessarily. My point is, it's about the fields and how often do they actually participate in the queries or being used at all. So for example, phone and address, if you need them only for the user profile, for example, page or some CSV export or some report or something like that. So only sometimes they are totally fine to be in a separate table, which you query only when you need them. But for some fields like status, it's already suspicious that the status would be checked quite often. And we've seen in this video that other fields like period, month, and group, they are fields describing the current status of the user, which is quite a big probability to be queried quite often. And of course, the photo is on each page on top. So what I would do in this case, so I would either move some of the fields into users table, or even further, if I see that this table then is left with only a few fields, maybe I will move those as well. It depends on the project, maybe in other projects, the logic could be different and the reality could be different with different fields, but you get the idea. The database structure is not about the structure itself only, it's about the operations, what you do with those tables in everyday life of your project. I actually talk about that a bit deeper in one of my courses, let me find it, this one, how to structure databases in Laravel. So in two hours, this course is about Laravel 8, but it doesn't really matter because it's about database mostly. I discuss things like belongs to versus belongs to many, polymorphics, how to divide the tables, and you can see a few testimonials of happy users already. So you can check that out. I will link the course in the description below. And that's it for now. See you guys in other videos.